Hello, I'm Gary Jackson. I'd like to introduce you to Roxy, the world's first pygmy blue tongue lizard detection dog. Roxy has completed the first stage of her training and has been conditioned to her work environment in South Australia. For this project, we had to find a very special dog. Roxy was selected for this task as she's a very relaxed and calm dog and has absolutely no aggression towards any form of wildlife, including lizards. Roxy was the perfect dog with her calm searches and passive indications when she found a burrow. The show me command will have Roxy gently place her nose on the burrow to confirm the find. Roxy has completed the testing and training phase at Multinational Canine and on location with Roxy's full-time handler, PhD student Torben Nelson. This important research project on the endangered pygmy blue tongue lizard is proudly run by the South Australia's Flinders University in partnership with Nature Foundation SA. Here is some more information on the endangered pygmy blue tongue lizard. The pygmy blue tongue lizard was thought to be extinct until 1992 when the lizard was first rediscovered. The lizard was recently featured in the David Attenborough's documentary Life in Cold Blood. Researchers have tried to maintain an annual absolute count on lizards occupying burrows in a monitored hectare at one site. In some years, this has been supplemented by data from monitoring hectares in up to eight other populations to look for different trends in population dynamics. Pygmy blue tongue lizards live in spider burrows and the presence or absence of the lizard in a burrow can easily be determined by viewing down the burrow with an optic fibre scope. The problem is that the chance of detecting a small burrow entrance at ground level among the native grass cover can vary substantially from season to season making it very difficult for observers to detect. This makes absolute counts per hectare difficult for the researchers. An additional problem in maintaining regular monitoring is the large amount of time required to detect occupied burrows. In previous surveys, researchers have taken four to five days of intensive searching on hands and knees to locate the 800 or so burrows in a one hectare site. Volunteer observers may not have that degree of enthusiasm for the task and many burrows may be missed. Increasingly around the world, wildlife researchers are employing the trained environmental detection dogs to detect individual species or signs of their presence. Roxy is the world's first dog trained to detect pygmy blue tongue lizards in burrows by scent. Once the dog has been fully trained and its efficiency has been established, the reduced time used to find the lizard burrows will make many other projects run more efficiently for researchers. Roxy, the pygmy blue tongue lizard detection dog, now joins the growing list of environmental dogs trained by Gary Jackson of Multinational Canine, which also include koalas and quolls, and the pest detection dogs trained to detect red-eared slider turtles, cane toads, foxes and feral cats. Together we can all play a part to help protect our fragile ecosystem and help our endangered species. I'm Gary Jackson.